Okay guys, well, Deep Dive Monday. So we're gonna pick something in Maya and we're gonna dive in. in this case is gonna be the Universal Manipulator Tool. Okay, here we go. Hey everybody and welcome back to a new Deep Dive Monday video. So uh, what we're going to be talking about today is the Universal Manipulator Tool. Now this is a very powerful tool and it has been a long time since I've seen anybody use it, right? So that's why I want to cover it. Now I've been using it for a long time but usually for something else and as it developed over time it is now so powerful that you can use it for a lot of things. So without further ado we're going to jump in. So I just uh, pull up this cube here, and if I want to manipulate this, let's say move it, I would hit W on my keyboard, which will allow me to move it in whatever direction. I can hit R to scale it. I can hit E to rotate it, and you know, per usual, okay? But what about the universal manipulator tool? Well, the shortcut for that is Control T, okay? But you can also go up to uh, Modify, Transformation Tools, and Universal Manipulator. And as you can see, Control T is a shortcut, okay? So let's do that. So I'm gonna hit Control T, and when I do that, all of this stuff shows up, and there's a lot, okay? So let's go through that. First of all, if you look closely, you see that there are now values next to these uh, handles, okay? So um, the reason for that is if I, for example, take the arrow to move it over the, uh, let's see, what is it, Z axis, right? And I move it, it will leave a dot behind. It will start to measure from the center of the original location to the center of the new location. So for example, I have now moved it 3.155 units, which is kind of neat, especially if you want to be very accurate, okay? So I'm gonna hit Control Z to go back. And I can do that with a rotation tool. I can do that with a move tool. So if I wanted to rotate, for example, and I were to take this red control, it would rotate and pivot over the opposite edge. Okay, so if I click on it and I move it, you'll see it will rotate over that edge. And as I do that, you'll see again in the blue numbers that there's a value. Okay, let's go back. Okay, so, uh, but the cool thing is I can actually go in and type in a number as well. So I can just click on this and instead I'll just type in minus 45 degrees and boom, there you go. Okay, which is uh, again, great if you want to be very accurate about it. So that allows you to rotate and rotate and uh, rotate and you can rotate here and anywhere you want. You can move around and it will measure the distance moved like this. But if you move at an angle, but let's say dragging on this guy, you'll see that we'll get a value there as well. Now I need to explain the little circle in the middle. So I'm gonna hit Control Z a couple of times to go back, okay? And if you go in here, you see a tiny little circle in the middle. Now, right now we have the Z axis pointing to the left and our little circle in the middle is, uh, has the same orientation. But as I move the cube around, that will change. As you can see, now it's uh, pointing towards uh, Z or Z. Now it's pointing towards uh, Y, so straight up, okay? So if I were to click on it in that little circle while it's uh, facing in Y, and I click on it and I move it around, you'll see that it will give you values based on where you have moved in X, Y, and Z, okay? And it will give that with all those numbers, kind of neat, okay? So what else? We talked about moving, we talked about rotating. What about scaling? Well, you see all those tiny little cubes on the corners there? If I click on one of those corners and I hold it and I pull, it will extend in that direction. And look again at all these values listed next to the edges. So the top there is 2.328, uh, the height is 1.000 and so forth. So I can move it in this direction, I can click another one, move it in this direction, and I can move in that direction. So what if I want to uh, scale it universally? Universally, I would hold down shift, click on one of the cubes, and now I can do that, okay? So it's a very simple yet a very, very powerful tool. And I suggest you guys to play around with that and have some fun. And uh, if you have any questions on what to do or how to use it, let me know in the comments, okay? Well, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, have fun and see you guys next time. Bye.